Hi everyone and welcome to the Mother's Day special greeting card workshop. Um, my name is Rachaita and I'm the founder at Artemor. Uh, we are so excited to have you all join us for today's session. If there are any kids, um, you know, you're going to make something really special for your mothers today. And if there are any mothers who are making for their own mothers, then you're going to have a great time. So we're going to I'm going to start with the session very quickly in the next two minutes. Until then, I'm just going to tell you what all materials will you need. So I have this A4 size paper. Uh, this is a... You will need a few different shades of acrylic colors. You can have any color that you wish to do. I am using this bottled colors from Flash. You can use fevicryl colors, camel colors, anything is fine. And along with that, we will need a few different brushes. So a small tip size, a small tip size and a big tip size for the background, just two or three different brushes, whatever you have handy works. And uh, a fresh bowl of water, just a clean bowl of a cup of water or a clean jar of water to wash your brushes and a rough cloth to wipe your uh, brushes once you wash them. So that's all you need for today. It's a very, uh, you know, versatile workshop. You don't need a lot of ingredients and you're going to have super fun making uh, the greeting card. So we're going to start with the first step. The first step is to fold your papers. Okay. So what you're going to do is if this is your A4 sheet, you're going to put it in the landscape form, which is the horizontal format. You're not going to use the sheet like this. You're going to use the sheet in a landscape. Fold the sheets, fold the sheet in half by aligning the edges here. Okay. And once you have aligned the edges, what you'll do is you'll hold the sheet from here and gently press down your hand. So I'm holding it from here and gently press down your hand on the other side. Okay, that's it. Now you can use your brush, any brush that you have to kind of just press down the crease of the paper. Okay, and that's it. So our car and now we'll be painting the flowers and the message on this card. Okay, I'll just wait for 10, 15 to finish this step. Okay, so all we are going to do is just, this was my sheet and I've just folded it exactly in half to create this greeting card format. Pretty simple till this step. Just fold your sheet in half and that's it. Okay. Now we're going to start by painting our card. Okay. So what you're going to do is we are going to mix our first shade, which is a peach color. Okay. Now for the peach color, what you're going to do is you're going to use orange. Okay. You can have orange and a little bit of white. Okay, so you're going to mix these two colors to create a nice peach shade. Okay, and I'll show you what the color looks like after mixing. Okay, so this is what my color looks like. I have mixed orange and white. 
to create this peach shade. Okay, so this is what the color looks like. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. I have no white color. I have gray color. You can use gray also. You can use any color for the background. Any light color you can use. Okay. okay. Now, in case if you don't have acrylic colors like I do, you can use watercolors, you can use uh, poster colors, anything is fine. Okay. But if you're using oil pastels or something, then I would uh, recommend that don't do this step right now because you'll have to draw the flowers before you do the oil pastels. So I've created the peach shade and I'm just going to paint my entire background with this shade. Just use whatever color shade that you have. Any color shade is fine. It's just that it needs to be a little light so that we can paint on top of it with other colors. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, can you please repeat the steps? So I've just folded it with a peach acrylic color. For the peach acrylic color, you just need to mix orange and white. You just make sure you cover your entire card. And that's it. So our background is done and I will wait for our next two, three minutes till you guys finish this step. Okay, so on this, this is the peach color. Yeah, yeah. So on this, what we are going to do is we are going to paint flowers on the border and then we will have a message of love you mom in the middle. Okay, so that's what our greeting card is going to look like. And uh, we will just wait for five minutes for the background to dry and then we will start. Okay, till then you guys can do your backgrounds and uh, get it ready for the next step. You can use whatever color you have for the background. The peach will look good with the flowers, but if you don't have a peach or if you can't make one, you can use any light color that you have, okay? Any light color, a light green, light yellow, light blue, uh, gray, anything is fine. Okay, I'm just blowing on top of the card so that the colors dry faster.
And once this step is done, we are going to now paint the flowers. Okay, so we'll have some flowers and butterflies. So I have this blue color that I'm using and I have a green, purple, pink. Use whatever colors you have. Uh, no need to stress about, okay, you know, uh, I am using a purple, but what if you don't have a purple? That's okay. Just use whichever colors you have. This is a card for your mother and she will like whatever you make. So just be happy while making it so that you know all your feelings transpire onto the car and when you give it to her she is also very happy okay so very simple okay we're going to start with the next step now okay for the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with a few flowers on the top So I'm using some green color. Use whatever color you have, don't worry about it. So I'm using some green and I am creating a flower here. Just draw any shape of flower that you like, okay? You don't need to necessarily draw what I am doing. Any color is fine. Okay, let me zoom in and show you. Just... Just a few different flowers like that. Use whatever color you have, okay? If you don't have a green, you can use blue, you can use yellow, anything is fine. Okay, so that's my first flower. And in this flower, you can use a sketch pen for this next step. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use any dark color that you have. Okay, so I'm using purple. Any dark color that you have, just put a few dots in the center like this for the colon of the flower. Okay, just a few dots in the center. Okay, so that's our first flower. Now we're gonna do the second flower with a blue color. So for this, I'm going to do one flower on the bottom right here. Just a tulip shape, okay? So just one, two, and three. That's it. Just three lines like this. Oh, just directly with the paint, you can do this. So that's our tulip shape. And using the same color, I will do a small round flower in the top right corner, like this. Okay, so two flowers, one tulip, 
and one small round flower like this and leave a little space for a few dots there. Okay, I'll just wait for two, three minutes till you finish this step. Okay, now we are going to do a few other elements. The first one that we are going to do is a butterfly. And for this, I am using a purple color. Again, use whatever color you have. Don't worry if you don't have purple. Just use whatever color you have. Okay, and we are going to do two butterflies, one on the top and one at the bottom, okay? So first, just see how I'm doing one of the butterflies and then you can repeat the same. So just two wings. Like this and the second wing. Like that. Simple. Connect both the wings in the middle. Okay. And these are the top two wings. And for the bottom two wings, you can use a different color if you want, or you can use the same color if you want. Completely up to you. Okay. For the bottom one, I'm using a darker shade. and thinner, like this, okay? So that's our bottom two wings. Okay, so top two and bottom two wings are done and now, you will repeat the same butterfly on the top also. I'll show you how. Okay. And one more thing. When you give this greeting cards to your mother, don't forget to write a good note inside the card. Okay. So we've made this card and you're going to write your note here. Whatever message you have for her, you can write it inside. And then when you give it to her, ask, somebody in your family or your friend or your father or whoever is around to click a picture of you giving it to her and share it with us okay you can share it on the group um, that your mothers or you are a part of whoever has joined the whatsapp group for from where you got the link don't forget to share the photos with us and we would love to see you know both of you smile and happy so that's our first butterfly and we're going to do the second butterfly here. And for this, we just in this portion, what we are going to do is we are going to use the same colors, the pink and the magenta that we used here, but we are going to use magenta in the bigger wings this time. Okay. So the bigger wings 
with magenta. Okay, and the smaller wings at the bottom we will do with the pink. Okay, so we have done our two butterflies. And while this dries, we will do a few more flowers. Okay, so let's see what are the colors we can use. Okay, I have some yellow that I can use. And I'm just creating small round flowers like we did earlier in this corner. Okay. That. I'll create three or four more. Now you can do these flowers wherever you like, okay? Just leave the middle portion of the card empty for our writing. And other than that, you can do the flowers wherever you want. So I'm creating one more flower here. One more flower here. Okay. Just use whatever colors you have and draw the tiny flowers. You can even do some small flowers if you like. Okay. Just see how I'm doing it here. I think I'll do it this side. Just one, two, three, four, and five. Just small flowers like these to fill up any spaces that you have. Okay, one more tulip here. Just half a tulip, okay? Because the page is ending here. Just do whatever you feel like doing on the edges, okay? You can draw as many flowers as you like. Just have fun. Okay, I'm drawing a few more of the flowers. Okay, tiny flowers. Wherever you want, you can draw these. Once you are done with adding as many flowers as you like, 
the next step we are going to do is add the leaves okay so i'm going to use the dark green for this and just see how i am adding the leaves once and then you can do that for your own uh, flowers okay so use a thin brush for this step and take a dark green color or brown color whatever you like for the stem and leaves and now just see how i'm doing the leaves okay so we'll start with this corner this big tulip flower that we have and we draw the stem okay and we will draw the leaves okay nice and thin leaves we don't want very thick leaves and just fill it up with the green color Right, so that's our first flower, and now I'll show you the next one. Just everywhere where we have drawn small flowers, you can draw a stem like this, and then add leaves to that stem. Okay, you can have different shapes of leaves also. So here I've drawn pointed leaves, and here I'm drawing more rounded leaves. Anything is fine. As I said, you know, whatever you make, your mothers are going to like it. So be creative, have fun, draw whatever you would like to draw. Okay. Now for the butterfly, obviously you will not draw the stem, okay? Because it's a butterfly. So we are going to draw the body of the butterfly. For that, we need black. Okay, so I'll show you how to do the body next. Take some black color or you can even use a sketch pen or a marker to do this. And just draw a leaf shape in the middle of the butterfly like this. Okay, very simple. And then two antennas for the butterfly. Simple. Okay, I'll show it once again here. So draw a leaf shape in the middle of the butterfly for its body. And then two antennas on either sides, like that. Okay, you can use a sketch pen also for this step if you're, don't, if you're not comfortable doing it with the brush. Okay, so that's our butterfly. And I will continue with the leaves till you do the butterflies. So I'm doing the leaf behind the butterfly's wing. Okay, like that.
All right. And now for this flower, again, you will take some black color or you can use your sketch pen and just do a few dots on this corner here. Okay, just a few dots like this. Like this. Only on one corner, okay? Not in the full thing. And same thing here in this red flower, we will just do a few dots in the center. Okay. Anywhere else where you would like to do the small dots, you can do it. Okay. Let's continue with the stems and the leaves. Okay, and next we have, we can draw a leaf stem here. Just do the leaves and flowers wherever you feel like doing. There are no rules, just have fun. If you want to add like one big flower and a lot of time that flower, you can do that also. Anything is fine as long as you are doing it with love. Okay, so I think all of our flowers are done. You can add a few more leaves if you want. And if you're happy with the way your card looks, then don't add anything. Okay. So I'll wait for five minutes till you guys finish the flowers and all the other elements and then we will write our message in the center. Okay, 
you can even do some white dots in the butterfly if you want let me show you how Yes, I've taken some white color and I'll just do a few dots in the butterfly. You can do any design you want, okay? You don't necessarily need to do these circles. You can do any design that you want. Okay. And now we will write our message. So for the message, choose a very vibrant color that you've not used anywhere else. So I'm going to use the sky blue color that I have. And just take a little bit of the color and we are going to write the words, love you mom in the center. Okay. Now see how I'm writing it. First, we will go letter by letter, alphabet by alphabet. So we're gonna write love first. So L. And you can do this with a sketch pen also, okay? It's not necessary, you have to do with a brush. O. V. And E. Okay, so that's our first word. And for the second word, you can have a little different color. Let's say, let me take a violet, okay? So, Y, okay? And then, so U, Y, O, U, we're going to write O and U. Okay. Word, the most important word in the entire uh, card. So we're gonna write mom now, same using the same color that we used for love. Okay, the sky blue color. And we're gonna write M O and M. Okay, so yeah, that's our greeting card for Mother's Day for your lovely mothers. And don't forget to click a picture of you giving the card to your mom. And uh, post, you can ask her to post it on her social media or just send it to us on the group and we will uh, post it on our Instagram page and you can see it and share it with your friends and other members in the family. I hope you all had fun. It was lovely making the card with you all. 
and i'm going to post a picture of this two on uh, the group so that you know if you are lagging behind or if you've not finished anything you can just go back to it and finish it i'll also share the recording with you in case if you couldn't complete it with me you can watch the recording and do it uh, at your own pace so thanks for joining i had a lovely time teaching this to all you uh, people in the <laughs> class today and thanks again Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Let's see how he has made. Yeah. One second, ah. Huh? Wow! Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, guys, thanks for joining. Bye bye. Have a lovely uh, day uh, to all of you and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers watching this. Hope you have a great day with your children and your family members. Thanks for joining again and we hope to see you soon in other workshops.